Hey there, not long ago people with Samsung or Galaxy phone were having fingerprint sensor calibration needed error while setting up their fingerprint. So if you are having the same problem with your Galaxy S25 Ultra or Plus, let's go ahead and show you how to try some basic fixes to solve this problem all by yourself. Now, this might happen for software malfunction, also for hardware issues, especially if you have recently replaced any hardware parts on a device. So we recommend you to first start your troubleshoot by restarting your device. If it's happening for any minor glitch, a simple restart will solve this problem. If a restart didn't solve your problem, just open up dialer and press this code, star hash zero star hash. This will open up this secret menu. From here, all you gotta do is just tap on sensor and under the fingerprint test, tap on normal scan. Wait a bit when the scan is running. Now, if all this criteria is showing pass, there might not be any hardware issue on your touch sensor. Okay, so getting out of this mode is a little bit tricky. Just press and hold on volume down and the power button. And from here, tap on side button settings. You will get out of here and then go to your home screen from there. Alright guys, so one of the users have said turning off the lock screen password or PIN solved their problem. So for that, go ahead open up settings. From there to secure and privacy, to lock screen, enter your PIN or password, whatever you have set, and then just select none. And then go ahead and try to set up your fingerprint along with your screen lock. If none of this helped you, there might be some customized settings you've done anywhere that is causing all these problems. So we're gonna just reset all settings on our device. From settings, go to general management, from there to reset, and to reset all settings. Now this will not delete any data, just reset some customized settings along with your Wi-Fi password. Make sure you have that. Tap on reset settings to reset. After the reset, your device will restart, and please go ahead and check if your problem is solved now. If that didn't help you, you need to take it to a hardware specialist or Samsung Care or Samsung Support. Thanks for watching.